In the words of the famous Urdu poet Mirza Ghalib, I asked my soul, what is Delhi? She replied, the world is the body and Delhi its life. That is exactly what Delhi is. We all know a lot about our capital city, the present day New Delhi. In today's video, let's learn about the past of this great city that has always enjoyed a historical status. Many kings waged wars to monopolize Delhi. The Chauhans captured the city in the 12th century. Unfortunately, Prithviraj Chauhan was defeated in 1192 by Muhammad Ghori, a Persian ruler. And that established the Muslim rule in Delhi. The Muslim rulers preferred to be known as Sultans rather than Raja or Maharaja. It was thus that this period came to be known as the Delhi Sultanate's rule. The Sultans ruled over Delhi from 1206 to 1526, in the course of which five dynasties left their stamp on Delhi. The language of administration was Persian. In 1206, Muhammad Ghori appointed his favourite slave Qutbuddin Aybak as the governor of Delhi. He reigned as the Sultan of Delhi for four years. Aybak was known for his generosity and people called him Lakdata. Qutbuddin initiated the construction of the Qutb Minar but could not complete it during his reign. The second Sultan was Aram Shah who reigned for a year before being assassinated by Aybak's son-in-law, Shamsuddin Iltamish. Iltamish, the next Sultan, completed the construction of Qutb Minar, but he did not have much support. Therefore, many wars were fought during his reign. Razia, the daughter of Sultan Iltamish, was a noteworthy Sultan. Unfortunately, she was removed from the throne in 1240, after a mere four years of rule. After a succession of weak rulers, the Khilji dynasty came to power. Of Turco-Afghan heritage, they seized power through a series of assassinations. The first ruler of the Khilji dynasty was Jalaluddin Khilji. He ruled for six years before he was murdered by his nephew Alauddin Khilji. He is considered the most powerful ruler in the history of Delhi Sultan. He expanded his province substantially to the east and south of India and was responsible for protecting India from Mongol invasions. He was succeeded by his 18-year-old son, Qutbuddin Mubarak Shah Khalji, who ruled for four years before he was killed. With his death ended the dynasty of the Khiljis. Then came the Tughlaq dynasty, the best known ruler of which was Muhammad bin Tughlaq. During his reign, he annexed several kingdoms to his territory. He defeated the Mongols who attacked the Delhi Sultanate. He was referred to as the Mad Tughlaq and the Wise Fool because he undertook several administrative reforms, most of which failed due to the lack of proper planning and good judgment. The Said dynasty that followed was the only Shia dynasty. It was founded by Khizr Khan in 1440. Members of the dynasty derived their title Sayyid or the descendants of the Islamic prophet Muhammad based on the claim that they belonged to his lineage. Bahlul Khan Lodi started the Lodi dynasty and was the first Pashtun to rule the Delhi Sultanate. After Bahlul Lodi's demise, his son Nizam Khan assumed power, renamed himself Sikandar Lodi and ruled from 1489 to 1517. Lodi led a campaign of destruction of temples, particularly around Mathura. Ibrahim Lodi, son of Sikandar Lodi, assumed power killing his older brother Jalal Khan. After Jalal Khan's death, the governor of Punjab, Daulat Khan Lodi, reached out to the Mughal Babur and invited him to attack the Delhi Sultanate. Babur defeated and killed Ibrahim Lodi in the Battle of Panipat in 1526. The death of Ibrahim Lodi ended the Delhi Sultanate. Now children, let's see if you can answer these questions. How many dynasties comprised the Delhi Sultanate? Who established the Delhi Sultanate and in which year? Which dynasty ruled the longest and for how many years? 
who was called the Mad Tughlaq and why? Why did the Sayyid dynasty call themselves so? Who was the only woman ruler in the Delhi Sultanate and how long did her reign last? What was Sikandar Lodi's real name? Who was the most powerful ruler of the Delhi Sultanate? Hope the topic was clear to you children. Good luck with your answers.